consider you're a part of the social media team that manages publishing and social media marketing for a large company. You just finish creating, scheduling and posting content across your social media channels. But your work is not complete here without understanding how your posts are performing and if they reach the right audience. As a marketer, that information will give you a fair idea of how to improvise your content strategy and target better metrics next time. Your work on Zoho Social is about to get interesting. Social media tracking is a crucial step in social media management which starts right after you publish your content. Tracking involves monitoring the performance of your post, conversations and interactions with your audience, social media listening and evaluating the reach of your posts. This will give you an idea about what works and what doesn't so you can plan your content calendar accordingly. Zoho Social provides you with some modules and parameters required to track the performance of your post. You can track the different types of engagement your post has received, audience distribution, reach and impression, mentions and reviews, and so much more through the metrics. You can share these details with other members of your team or other concerned teams to discuss the results. To get started with understanding your post performance, go to your Zoho Social Dashboard. The Brand Health section here will give you an idea of how your social channels have been performing for the past 30 days. You can see the number of followers gained, the reach and engagement received, and the number of posts over the past month. You can see your recent posts here, as well as a live stream of your notifications across all channels. The Posts tab will give you detailed information about each post, whether they are published, scheduled, waiting for approval, unpublished or pending as a draft. You can view the content calendar you've planned out for the month too. The posts in the Posts tab are listed individually for each network. Click on each post to expand them. There are three tabs here. Post Details gives you a detailed view of the posted content. Post Stats gives you an idea of all the metrics you can analyze to monitor performance. So, for this Facebook post, you can see the different types of reactions, engagement and impressions. If your account is connected to CRM, you can also see CRM stats for the posts which include your leads and contact information. You can export this data to other team members using the export function available. Similarly, you can see the metrics for other networks. YouTube videos have metrics like cards and end screen engagement that can help track how cards and end screens added to your videos are functioning. Video view insights will give you an idea of how views are distributed amongst your audience and a lot more. The content library within the Pulse tab lists the RSS feeds and social library. RSS Feeds is a dashboard that you can maintain and control based on your preferences in blogs. You can click here and type any website or blog site you want to follow and add it to your feed. Every time this particular website or blog is updated, you can track it here. You can also share this content to your social media channels directly from here. Social library is the local library where you can upload important or frequently used media files to your Zero Social dashboard and use them for your social media posts. Social media listening can be critical for your marketing strategy when you want to understand your competitors and track any feedback content across your social media channels. The monitor tab is your go-to dashboard if you want to see who's talking about you 
and what they say when you have this all set you aren't going to miss a single mention or comment and can respond instantly from a single place go to the monitor tab and click add new column from the list of columns available you can add any column you want to monitor like twitter mentions hashtags on instagram or reviews and questions for your google business profile and see the activity right here on the dashboard moving to the reports tab this is where you can see detailed analytics for all the content you post across channels you can see various reports listed here according to the network facebook provides you with analytics in the form of summary audience posts and messenger reports through these you can track the total likes for your page the impressions your posts have created the audience who liked your posts and their classification according to age gender and demographics the types of engagement your posts have received the connections you have received through facebook messenger and a lot more similarly you can see specific reports for certain channels like story reports for instagram reviews and questions for your business profile and video performance for youtube you can also create custom reports and schedule your reports to be sent to specific users you can view crm reports and desk tickets created from zoho social here with this detailed understanding of your social media analytics you can decide and improvise your social marketing strategy and target the right users in the best possible way